Okay then guys, today we're taking a look at Tiny Tina's Wonderland and the character creation at the beginning of the game. There is so much entailed in this, it is mental. With a game such as the Borderlands series, it's not really known for character creation or at all. This is a very refreshing change and as you can see on screen, we've got so much to go through with so many weird things. So like, subscribe and let's crack on. So when you first crack into it, you are going to come across the class selection screen. Now I'm sure all of you guys know about the classes by now, but if you want me to personally break them down into separate videos, then let me know via the comment section. Once you've done that, it is going to be time to customize your character. And we are going to have a very widespread change. As you can see on screen, you can randomize your character to get the initial stance of it. And we have a slider overdrive. If you turn that on, you are gonna find that they they get a little bit a little bit weird, to, to say the least. They go all over the place, and there is no exception as to how big you can make any individual part of your body. Well, calm down now, calm down. Now once we get on to the body style, you can make your character as big and as small as you want with a head size as big and as small as you want. I don't think this affects hitboxes, but it'd be interesting to find out. Now going from there, we have got voices. So take a listen to some of these. What have we here? What? I'm vain. What? I'm vain. Get over it. So as you can tell, it kind of gets a little bit extreme as to what it is you can do with the voices as well. The actual facial pieces, they get a little bit weird and you can kind of see the overall aspect of what they're going for with the whole strange mentality. But that's the Borderlands series as an overall. You can make individual changes to every aspect of your face and actually eliminate the symmetry of your face. So you can have one eye color, one color, one eye color, another color. You can have two ears that are different sizes. You can have lips that just don't make sense. This customization is kind of gone so far overboard they've made you a developer. And you can also add in things like scars and tattoos. And there should essentially be no two characters in this game that will ever look alike. And not only that, but this is all alter changeable, which means that throughout the game you will collect and obtain new pieces that you can add, new hairstyles, new mouthpieces, masks and stuff like that, that you can add on to alter the customization. After you've done that, you are then going to be coming up against the armor customizer. Now again, like I said, as you go through the game, you will get new armor pieces and new metal plates and stuff like that that you can add in. But you will be able to select all of the colorization of your character straight off the bat, which for me personally is really cool. After you've done that, you have got the Twist of Fate, and this is going to be something which will not change throughout the whole game. So we've obviously got the Village Idiot, which is a archetype of Thick. Raised by Elves, which is a nimble archetype, and each one of these will have different ups and downs. As to which one it is that you want to go for, every character is going to be individual and nobody's going to be two of the same. So you will obviously have different reasons to pick different things such as intelligence, strength, wisdom, attunement, so on and so forth. So make sure that you pick this wisely because this will not be able to be changed in the game whatsoever once you have picked this in your character selection. Then we go through to the point attribution, and this is where you're going to add in the extra points. Now, as you can see, it obviously enhances individual things, such as the strength will give you an extra crit damage. Putting all of your stuff in will just mean that your character is ready to go. And after that, you have got the name selection, and then this is what you're left with. A character, the way that it looks, and your spreadsheet going into Tiny Tina's. As an overall, this is an amazing character creation section, and this is going to be a awesome start to hopefully what will be a fully polished, finished, and amazing game. Hopefully we'll see some more of you guys soon here on Tiny Tina as we're going into launch day in just 24 hours or so now. This is going to be a mental, mental start as we can kind of tell by the selection of these characters. Thanks again for watching guys, appreciate your faces, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the clouds.